Okay, hello. Um, you should be able to see me all right, despite the light behind. Um, so this is just a quick video to go through what we do to build up a positive association for checking um, in and around the facial area mainly, and also the pores. And basically building up to the places where when the pup goes to the vet, um, they will look to in the future. Certainly as well, again, when the dog comes in for training, um, the ears, the eyes, the mouth, the feet, tail area are the main areas that dog care staff will check at least once a week with the pup. So it's nice that they've got that already established pos positive association for it. Um, so the end goal is obviously we want our pups to be nice, positive, relaxed and calm when being examined by a vet or anyone for that matter. The main things that um, we don't want is obviously for the uh, dogs to be fearful. The main sort of body language that you're looking for if the pup is fearful of the examination <coughs> is tense and frozen body language is pouring away even though it might seem quite playful and nice it might just be a very polite way of the pup saying i'm not entirely comfortable with that thank you leaning away if you go towards the ear and they lean away it means we're going one step too far and also if the ears are pinned back and the body posture is low to the ground just little things to um and these um uh, body languages can be unbelievably slight. So if you're ever in any doubt about your pup's acceptance of the um, checking procedure, take a video uh, at the minute anyway and send it to your supervisor. Okay, so stage one. Let's come down. Come on, sweetheart. Let's go off the couch. Good girl. So with Lottie, if you can uh, sit close to the camera. So say if I was doing her ears, I'd just build up with a touch. Good. And pretty much you do it as if, as soon as you press that body part, an automatic sound goes off that says good. So just a good. And then she gets a treat after being touched, not before. And again, the other side, good. And then again, I'm gonna run through, um, the improvements really quickly, so obviously do this slower. And then if they're comfortable with that, that's when you can hold for a couple of seconds, and good. Then once you're comfortable with that, then lift the air up. Good. Then for the really advanced ones out there, is you can just get anything, I can use the TV remote, lift up the air, pretend to look in it with a remote, good and do that, but only do that when the pup is extremely comfortable. And again, same with the eyes. So a little check up of the eye, good. And then you can build up, so just something fake, good. And then the exact same principle for the paws as well, where initially just hold, and good. Then hold for a few seconds. So she's moved the paw away there, which is nice. So I've just taken my hand away and I'll reapproach and go back to the one touch. Good. And Lottie might be doing that as she does have skin problems, so she doesn't like her feet being touched. So I just then touch. Good. Then I'll try for a couple more seconds. One, two, good. And then eventually what I want is to pick up the paws. Good. And then obviously the last stage, being able to do that, have a little look between the pads, and Lottie's okay with that. Good. Okay.